I hope you're having a good day. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how to transfer your designs to a USB in order to transfer them to your embroidery machine. You will want to make sure that you have a compatible USB to your machine and to your computer as well. I'm running a Mac and I have my USB plugged in. Usually at the side of your computer there will be a little slot that you can plug your USB into. On my laptop, I'm running a Mac and there have like little mini connectors instead of the USB connectors. So I have a little device that changes it to a USB and that's where mine is plugged into. Okay, where you can put your USB into your computer it may be in your tower if you're using a laptop it may be on the side of your laptop find that slot and put that in there many times once you do that it'll light up if it has a capability of lighting up sometimes it doesn't let's now look at the design we have opened in our brilliance essentials and this design is one of the cute little hug longer belly snapper paperless dolls a little snap goes right there in the belly button to snap the clothing on. So what we'd like to do is we'd like to bring this design over to the embroidery machine to embroider it. So what I will do is I'm going to go up to File at the very left hand corner of my Brilliant screen and I'm going to go to uh, down to the Save Stitch File As. I'm going to click on Save Stitch File As and then a pop-up screen appears on the, on the computer. I'm going to go look over at the side for my USB. My USB is called Hug Longer, so it's right here. I'm going to click on it. There's nothing in there currently. Now, I use the VP3 format. I'm using a Husqvarna Viking Topaz 20 right now. So I need to go down here at the bottom and click to the different file types. I need to scroll down and find VP3. When I do, I want to click on that. And then I want to hit the Save button in the lower right hand corner. Save. Now, I'm going to go over into my Finder folder and I'm going to hit on there. And I'm going to see right here, this is my Hug Longer uh, USB. I'm going to click on it. Yep, there it is. It's just named my design. I could have renamed it Paperless Style Belly Snapper but I just left it as is. So let's go in here and let's try one more. If I'm gonna stitch the doll, I think I might as well stitch her clothing as well. So here we have our file up in our Brilliant screen again. Let's go up to the very left hand corner and hit the file button and then scroll down to save stitch file as. Click on that. It's gonna bring me back into my hug longer USB drive because that is the last file I was in. So um, I don't want to name it my design because there's already one name that. I'm going to name it close. And it's already scrolled into the VP3 format up here, but if it was not, we just click down here and we find the format we need. Now once I have it named and ready to go, I'm going to click save. That's perfect. I have my two files now. Let's verify that, but let's take a peek at the Hug Longer USB and there they are, close in my design. This one's going to be the doll and this is going to be the doll close. So that's great. Now we don't want to just yank our, our USB from the computer. We want to turn it off first. Corruption can happen if you just pull it out without turning it off. There's a little arrow right near the Hug Longer USB symbol. Go ahead and click on that. When you click on it, boom, it turns it off. Now I'm going to pull it from the computer and we're going to walk over and we're going to put it into the machine. Okay, I am going to take and plug my USB into the USB slot. There is a right way and a wrong way, so take a peek and I'll turn my machine on now. Take the necessary steps to calibrate it. Next, I will push my embroidery button right here 
and in here you can see clothes in my design. Now we know I didn't rename this one, so the my design is the doll, and the clothes is the clothes set for the doll. Let's click on the doll first. And there it brings up my design. It tells me the color changes. I have eight color changes. And it tells me I'm on color one. So now my design is in the embroidery machine and ready to go. Recap on that just one more time to make sure you understand. You're going to bring your design up and in, into your Embrilliant screen. If you don't have Embrilliant, if you have another program, it's going to work very similar. But I do suggest taking a look at the Embrilliant Essentials program, especially for bringing designs in, merging designs, changing formats, changing colors, so many more things. So once I have my design in my screen, I'm going to go up to the File tab, and I'm going to scroll down till it says Save Stitch File As. I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to find my drive where it is. It's usually on the left-hand side somewhere. Mine is called Hug Longer. I can rename my design at this point. And let's rename it so that it will save one again. Let's rename it Doll. And I want to find the format I'm using. You can scroll down and find whatever format that your machine uses. Mine uses VP3. Then we will hit Save. That just that simple. It's now in your USB drive. You'll want to click and turn your USB drive off before you remove it, it'll disappear from the screen. The light will turn off on it if there's a light, and then you'll unplug that, plug that into your machine, and your designs will be all ready to go. I sure hope that helps some of you who are new to machine embroidery. I know I see that question all the time, so I thought I'd just do a quick video sharing how to do that. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna include some links in my description for Brilliance Essentials, and also for my Facebook group, come join me, um, come ask some questions, and come check out some of the designs that I do. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.